My name is Rick Eckert and I'm a graduate of Escoffier Online Culinary Academy. So my background is um, in chemistry. I have a degree in chemistry and um, in the health and safety field, uh, but also really love to cook and have doing, been doing a lot of cooking over the past a um, couple of years, both volunteering at a cooking school, doing um, some culinary vacation, and um, also doing, of course, um, the, the online course to Escoffier. I definitely enrolled as an enthusiast, um, although I, I sort of in the back of my mind had uh, an idea that it may be useful in case I wanted to go into um, the, the, the service, the food service business in the future. Well, there's lots of different reasons why I enrolled with Escoffier Online. Um, you know, if you talk to a lot of chefs these days, it is, you get really mixed opinions about whether someone should go to culinary school inside a, a, a brick and mortar building or not. Um, probably half of them say that the cost um, and, and some other factors make it not worth it for everybody. Um, and I'm one of those people. I, I'm, I'm a person who loves to cook. I cook for friends and family a lot. Um, I, like I said earlier, I volunteer at a cooking school. I'm not sure that I'm going to go into the into a restaurant or be a line cook or something like that. So um, the the online format and the cost of the program, and also the fact that it's self-paced, was really really good for me. It, it just fit my needs. I, I definitely had some reservations signing up with Escoffier Online. Um, that there's lots of different things on the internet these days offering some sort of education um, through an e-learning format and they can range uh, in my experience from being really good um, to most of them being not so good. So uh, some of my reservations were just about that. Um, uh, other reservations I had were just you know, the online environment for cooking. I, I wasn't quite sure how the two were going to marry together. Uh, for example, how would the chefs um, that were my mentors know actually if my food was any good? They weren't tasting it. Uh, and, and many, many other things uh, sort of entered my mind when I was trying to make my decision. I did have a lot of questions about the program um, before joining. I think a lot of people that are maybe thinking about joining and, and taking the course to Escoffier Online do just what I did. They went to the, the website, they looked at the materials that sort of introduced everything um, to prospective students. And, and some, some of the information I think people are maybe looking for um, wasn't readily apparent there. You know, my experience was talking to um, Josh at, at Escoffier Online was r really a nice thing to do. It answered a lot of my questions um, and, and gave me a really comfortable feeling about going ahead, ahead and enrolling. Um, online learning worked for me for a couple of different reasons. I, as, as part of um, the work that I normally do in health and safety training is a, a large part of that work. Um, and uh, you know, the world these days is moving to online learning, and that includes the field that I'm in as well. So I've, I've actually designed a lot of online learning. Um, and something I've learned through doing that is that certain things lend themselves to online learning very well, and certain things just aren't made for online learning. So um, the, the information uh, about cooking, sort of the educational part, where you read the information, you learn the parts of a kitchen, you learn about your knives, um, a lot of the educational portion of the material was great for online learning, as long as the learning was, was, was put together well. Um, one of the things I found um, I was pleasantly surprised by actually was the, the quality of the, the online learning, the e-learning that Escoffier Online had put together. I, I did go through the program relatively quickly. I, I, I've been told that I have the record of completing the, the course in the fastest time of anyone in Escoffier Online so far. Um, but it, it, there was a, a couple of different things I did to um, try to make my time in the course a, a little bit quicker. Uh, 
Uh, and I sort of set out with a strategy of how I would do it. You know, after looking at the way the course is laid out, there's an educational part, and there's some tests that, that um, are required. There's a, a large quiz at the end of each section, and then there's the cooking assignments. Um, and just what I chose for me, that worked for me personally, was um, to go ahead and do all the educational portions and then go back and do all the cooking assignments. So it really was getting kind of the, the reading, studying, testing out of the way, and then a, being able to concentrate solely on the cooking. Um, that way it, it allowed me to do things like um, multiple assignments in a day. Um, so for example, I might make one assignment for lunch one day and one assignment for dinner, um, and maybe make one assignment to enjoy the next day. And time, time is a tricky thing, and, and um, it, it is easy to, to think that um, you don't have time for, for completing the program. I, I think it's like anything else, maybe working out or um, taking the time to, to walk your dog in the park or, or something like that. It, it's, I, I think it's what is really important to someone is something that they make time for. And um, for, for this particular thing, it was very important for me to, to do this, and I, I'm really glad that I did it. And I, I sort of poured myself into it as well. Um, you know, I, I, I volunteered at a local cooking school, and I was doing the Escapier online course, so I, I sort of immersed myself in food. Um, having said that, I, I had a life as well. So, you know, it, maybe um, four or five, maybe um, six hours in, in some, on some heavy days I spent on the program. But it wasn't an inordinate amount of time um, for, for me personally. Gosh, there were a lot of things I really enjoyed about the program. What did I enjoy the most? I, I think um, just getting some knowledge that I didn't have. Um, you know, I, I think a lot of people these days watch a lot of food TV, and a lot of people do a lot of cooking, and um, I think a lot of people know more about food than they may think they know. Um, so I, I was really pleasantly surprised to see that I knew a lot about food already. I knew the answers to a lot of the questions already. Um, but I was also very happy to learn some new things. Um, for example, um, a, a lot of the cooking assignments were asking me to cook things in ways that I normally wouldn't do. Um, you know, I, I would never braise a, a, a leg of lamb, uh, for example. And so I learned how to do that, and I learned a lot of different cooking techniques. And also a lot of what I think are, are maybe tips and tricks um, that, that it just will help my cooking uh, from here on out. Um, the, the online program has changed my cooking a lot. Um, as I mentioned before, I do a, a ton of cooking already, so I, I, I feel like I knew how to cook before I came into the program. Uh, but, but I have to say I learned a lot in the program as well and, and, and learned some things that are really going to help. Um, it, you know, I think the, the biggest thing for me that is going to change in my cooking or that has changed in my cooking is just confidence. Um, I, I'm like a lot of other people and, and can follow any recipe that you give me typically. Uh, but coming up with, with recipes on your own or knowing what to do if something goes wrong in a recipe, uh, all those things are, are things that um, I, I, I learned a lot about through the course and, and that will be very helpful going forward. So for my future plans uh, in, in regards to cooking, I, I have to say I don't know exactly. Um, I, I came into the program um, with, with some sort of, um, my goals weren't exactly set on going into the culinary field or being a cook at a restaurant. Um, I, I certainly will use the skills when I, when I cook for people, um, when, when I, I help at the cooking school that I help with and um, those types of things, but who knows, you know, the, the, the skills are there. People in the, the culinary industry and in, in restaurants and, and other places where, where cooks work are looking for education, and um, it, oftentimes the education, it, it, if you have two people, one with just experience and the other with some experience and education as well, um, you stand a really good chance of, of getting a job and being employed in, in that industry. So, so who knows, uh, you know, it, it's, it gives me another option of, of what to do if I choose to do it going forward.
so some advice to pass on to incoming students. I, I guess the, the, the first piece of advice would be um, enroll in the program. Uh, I had mentioned earlier that you know that there's a lot of questions that I think people probably have before doing something like this. Um, people are used to, to hearing about culinary schools where you you actually go to the school and you pay forty thousand dollars for a program or something like that. Um, if, if you have any reservations about the program, I, I would just say, you know, go for go for it, try it. it it's um, a, an inexpensive, self-paced way to do something that a lot of us really have always wanted to do. Um, the other thing I would say, I, I, I guess, is is um, you know, I, I did finish the program very quickly, but it doesn't mean that I didn't go in depth into to each of the lessons that were were in there. Um, and it, like any other school, I, I think you can go through something really fast and maybe not retain a lot of things, um, or you can go through a program um, in, a, in a very methodical way and get everything out of it that you you, you can while you're in it. And I would definitely say to do the latter, get everything out of the program that you can while you're in it. It, it, it really will, will make the cooking better, it will um, make you a better cook going forward. So I, I mentioned earlier, I, I do volunteer at a cooking school locally here in Atlanta. Um, and it's the type of school, it's, it's not a school where um, someone goes to the school and, and takes a culinary course and gets a, you know, is a chef when they come out the door. Um, it, it's more of a cooking school where cooking enthusiasts come. And um, traveling chefs and, and also local chefs come in and, and teach classes. So those classes can range anywhere from Gosh, how to make lasagna, to how to make French macarons, to uh, cooking for Easter or something like date night with fall flavors, just really fun classes, wine classes, all those types of things. Um, and there, there's a lot of things there that assistants like me do that are very similar to what cooks um, do in restaurants. So, um, you know, the, the, the chef a lot of times will come in and there's a, of course there's a mise en place that they want done. Um, it, the recipes are laid out just like you would see in a restaurant, and a lot of the prep work is, is left up to um, people like me. So uh, getting those things done quickly and knowing how to do them um, can make you a pretty invaluable person to a, 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 a cooking school, a place like that. So anything just as simple as how to cut an onion properly um, and getting it done quickly, uh, you know, is, is a great thing to, to know. Um, it, it gives a chef sort of, it, it gives the chef confidence in, in the fact that they don't have to look over your shoulder all the time and that you know what you're doing. Um, so that, that's been terrific for me. It, it's, uh, I've definitely noticed a change going through this program and taking some of those things into that school. Um, a lot of the chefs at this um, point in time, you know, they'll spend time with the other assistants, but they basically kind of leave me alone and they know that I'm going to do it right and they know that the food's going to look good and it's going to taste good. Um, so it's, it's, it, it's a fun thing for me to do and it's been a, a the online program has been a great way for me to improve those skills.